Italian space company D-Orbit is set to go public via a merger with the special purpose acquisition company Breeze Holdings in a deal that values the satellite startup at $1.4 billion. Joining me now is D-Orbit CEO Luca Rosatini. Luca, thanks uh, for being here. Let's start with what D-Orbit does. I know it's a space transportation company that really focuses on what's called last mile delivery. Explain for us what that is with regards to space and why it's so important. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me here. So um, what we do, it's really last mile delivery service. So imagine you have a, like a delivery truck and you fill this truck with packages that you want to, let, to deliver to Boston, New York, San Francisco, and so on. And well, we do the same, the same stuff in space. So we fill our cargo space vehicle with satellites and we are capable of delivering the satellites in many different locations in space reducing the time by up to 85% and the overall cost of deploying the, like the entire constellations of satellites by up to 40%. So I know uh, your key product is this ion satellite carrier. Do you have a patent on that? Does anybody else do that the way you are? And why is it so important for the client? Yeah, so we, we, we have a bunch of patents. We have more than 40 patents filed in, in 18 countries uh, to protect our technology. The reality is that the market is growing so fast that if you really want to keep innovation, you need to keep you know, improving and get close to the customer. So why customers are using our ION? Well, because um, um, today the alternative is just wait to have the satellites reaching the final position that is consuming life of the satellites. Consuming life means consuming revenues that you are not making. And on the other end, uh, today you cannot reach all the orbital positions. So if you have a transport system, you can really go like wherever you want and in the, in the least amount of time. So in terms of just the numbers, you brought in about three and a half million dollars in revenue last year. You're looking for that to grow to 22 million by the end of this year. I know you've done some work with SpaceX. Can you give us a feel for who some of the other clients are and when do you hope to be uh, cash positive? Yeah, sure. So we uh, we have uh, six missions already done and four with our cargo vehicle ION that you just mentioned. And by the way, the last uh, is, is, uh, is currently in orbit and uh, we just deploy another satellite today. Um, so, and we will keep launching uh, these ions full of paying customers for like this year and also the next year. So that's where uh, most of the money that we are going to make is, is coming from. Um, we are going to be cash positive in uh, 2024. And this is not the only line of business that we have. So uh, we mentioned the last mile delivery, but after we deploy all the satellites, uh, we still have a like, fully functional satellite in orbit that we can use to deliver additional services. I just want to mention two. One is uh, in orbit demonstration of technology from other customers. That's very important. Uh, this is helping the entire ecosystem to grow faster. So we allow customers like young startups that they have a good technology, but they need to validate the technology before selling to the market uh, to go up to space and prove it uh, uh, in like few months rather than in several years and spending several millions. This is something that we are already delivering to customers. This is a, like an existing service. The other one that we are building step by step, so this is not yet on the market, but it's going to be on the market soon, is a space cloud computing service. So in June last year, we sent um, a server on board of our cargo and we tested several AI applications from like several customers on board of our platform. This mission that is in space right now also have a mm -hmm. server. And the more we launch, the more we create this uh, space cloud computing at service of satellite operators. Luca, I want to ask you about your decision to do this via a SPAC, because SPACs have sort of fallen out of favor with a lot of investors over the past year. And of nine space companies that went public through SPAC mergers last year, all but one actually finished underwater. So why was the right why was this the right way for your company to come to the public market? 
Yeah, so we evaluated uh, several possibilities. So in our DNA, you know, since the first launch, uh, we understood that our path was towards the public market. So when the time came, we evaluated different possibilities. And then we met uh, Breeze Holdings that that's, uh, really uh, made our decision very easy. Uh, great, great people, great management, entrepreneurial spirit. They also came along with the Bolden Group as partners. Uh, Bolden Group is a, a group of experts in the aerospace and defense business. Uh, they are helping a lot on uh, like expanding our relationship. So it was the right decision. And, uh, and you know, and the proceeds that we are going uh, to use will, will help us to grow the business and, and to achieve uh, what, what, what we put in our plan. And, and quickly, Luca, what do you see as the next phase of the new space economy? Yeah, new space economy, uh, it's growing so fast. It's really amazing what is happening in our sector. And, you know, just a few years ago, the new space economy was, was considered science fiction. So, and, uh, and I mean, even what we do today was considered science fiction at that time. And now it's a reality. So what we are expecting is a continuous growth of, um, of the number of satellites that are going to be launched. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the industries on Earth are, are, uh, are growing, uh, moving towards digitalization, industry 4.0, big data. They are using more and more predictive analytics and most of the data are coming from satellites. So there will be a big need of data from satellites. That's why the, the sector will keep growing, but there will be another phase. So this is, um, I like to say that is a space to earth market, right? So satellites providing data uh, to help the earth. But something else is happening. There is a space-to-space -space market that is uh, just started. So we will see companies more and more operating uh, in space, offering services to other operators that are in space. And this is mm -hmm. coming uh, in, in, the following, uh, in the following years. Yeah, lots to look forward to. Luca Rosatini, D-Orbit's CEO. Thank you so much and best of luck with the SPAC merger.